Discovering the music of English speech. Articulation points for consonants. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our ongoing series on English pronunciation. Today, we will dive deeper into the world of consonant sounds and explore the place of articulation. This topic can help you perfect your pronunciation by understanding where in our vocal tract we produce different consonant sounds. Don't worry, we won't delve into phonetic transcriptions today. We'll keep things simple and practical. The place of articulation is all about where in your vocal tract the consonant sound is produced. It's like a roadmap to the sounds we make when we speak English. We use different parts of our mouth and throat, like our lips, teeth, and tongue, to form these sounds. Understanding these can truly help you fine-tune your pronunciation. Bilabial sounds are produced by bringing both your lips together. Think of the words, ball, or, map. The, b, and, m, sounds are both bilabial. For labiodental sounds, we use our lips and teeth. The, f, in, fine, and the, v, in, vine, are both labiodental sounds. Dental sounds involve the tip of the tongue and the upper teeth. In English, think of the th in think or that. Alveolar sounds are made with the tip of the tongue touching the ridge just behind our upper teeth, known as the alveolar ridge. The sounds t, d, n, l, and s in words like time, dime, nine, lime, and size are alveolar sounds. The palatal sounds involve the middle part of the tongue and the hard part of the roof of the mouth, known as the hard palate. The Y sound in yes is a palatal sound. Velar sounds are produced at the back of the mouth using the back of the tongue against the soft part of the roof of the mouth, known as the soft palate or velum. The K sound in kick and the G in go are velar sounds. Finally, we have glottal sounds made using our vocal cords or glottis. The sound H in house is a glottal sound produced by airflow from the throat. That wraps up our tour of the English vocal tract and how we use it to form consonant sounds. Remember, understanding these places of articulation is a step towards refining your English pronunciation. Keep practicing and never stop learning. We hope this video has been insightful. Stay tuned for more in our series on Mastering English Pronunciation.